these values here, these outputs from these nodes are actually the output of our convolutional filter on these groups of pixels. And as we already are familiar with the convolution operation, we can understand that the calculation that's actually occurring to obtain these values is the same weighted sum calculation that would occur if this layer were a fully connected layer. Except for now, instead of multiplying the inputs by the weights, we multiply the inputs by the filter values. And as we just talked about, we have the same four filter values that are being used to connect the groups of input pixels to our outputs here. So even though we have 16 total connections being illustrated here, that's actually just four connections, four learnable parameters rather, being repeated four times. So we actually only have four learnable parameters with this example here, which are the four values in our convolutional filter. And it's due to this that convolutional layers are referred to as sparsely connected, whereas fully connected layers are referred to as being densely connected. So we should now be able to see the more direct comparison between fully connected layers and convolutional layers and see how they're actually much more similar to each other than what they might appear.